Floyd Maxwell and this is a video on how they made the pyramids my own theory I'm gonna show the uh, pyramid blocks as just the end of the block so this would be a two-dimensional representation of a, of a pyramid block just to simplify the overall explanation here so millions of blocks heavy two and a half tons each how do they lift them and move them around the historians have said the only evidence that they found in one of the videos I mentioned was they found a strange D shape here and it's sort of think of it like a bow if you're trying to visualize it they found a bow and it was like that was the only thing that was sort of left in the pyramids and what the heck was that so a couple of years back when I heard that video and then thought about it I, I came up with the idea that if you use these bows around the block then you could perhaps turn it into a circle. Well, if you just take a, a circle the size of a block and cut it in half, these shapes here, these D shapes are too big, so it doesn't make a circle. But there is a shape, this shape here will make a circle. And so four of these D shapes, and don't forget these are hollow, think of them like ribs in a ship, so they can be lashed this part here can be lashed across the, the block to this part over here and you can have enough of them, enough ribs to support the weight of the block and now your block is a cylinder the other thing is the pyramids they say the Great Pyramid was was encased in limestone white limestone and it looked dramatic and beautiful and I'm sure it did but maybe these triangular limestone casing pieces I've shown one here had a perfect another purpose so in my final image here you can see the limestone casing has been applied to the blocks and what does it create it creates a smooth line on the side of the pyramid a smooth surface and the block has become a cylinder which is round and we can imagine something round rolling on something flat the only other thing needed is to have a rope from the top looping around the block and going back up top so the people could pull the block, the, uh, well, the block, the, the cylinder block up. Uh, if you try and push from below, first of all, it's dangerous, and second of all, uh, only so many people can push. They each have to touch the block or else you're pushing somebody else and that's not comfortable. Whereas with ropes, you can have many people on a rope. Anyway, this is only two, a cylinder, two and a half tons. You know, you can move, one person can move a car. So let's say rolling this block up might only take 10 people on ropes. So the beauty of the pyramids, by my theory, was that there was no ramp. There was no material waste of a ramp afterwards. There was no ramping of any kind. There was no levers. It wasn't complicated. It was elegant. It involved square blocks, if you look at it from the end, turned into cylinders or circles. It involved triangles and involved in an interesting D-shape, and that's how they made the pyramids.